Now we're finally going to see what that jest of Prince wanted with the reports that we stole and everything else. What's up, Chunk? Gaming Chief, you back to see Mr. LaCroix again? He is impatient for me. Yeah, he told me to send you up as soon as you came in. Lots of people here to see Mr. LaCroix. Nice guy. He seems a little different, though. You wonder if he's... Ah, that's his business. Yes, yes. LaCroix is definitely gay. My, my thanks, beefy scarecrow. Odd thing I noticed recently, LaCroix, actually the name of a beverage. Anyone you know that? I actually like the damn thing. It's not bad. It's just sparkling water. I've said all I need to for now. Hey, Wizard King, Pretty Lady, Rich Dude, and Movie Monster? Nosferatu in a, tune, in a tuxedo. Good for him. Ah, yeah, I'm still on. I don't have time for a monologue. Give me the bullet points of what you saw. The decks were washed with the blood of sea men. And the Ankaran sarcophagus. What did you see? Bloody hands crept out from within and made wonderful patterns all over. Opened? Let's not jump to conclusions. Give me the manifest in your notes. I'll sort this mess later. You might have noticed when you came in the parade of malingering molly couples filing out. Huh? Uh, sure. Those were the Primogen, this city's clan elders. A worrisome bunch devoted first and foremost to the security of their own skin. Which is why they were here. It seems Alistair Grout, the Malkavian Primogen, has either forgotten how to answer his phone, or is missing. Each minor problem like a grain of sand, each night I inherit the desert. The Sabbat's appearance has put the Primogen on edge. Grout's mansion is in the Hollywood Hills. I need you to pry Grout out of whatever crack he's crawled into and have him contact us. If it pleases you. Yes. About Grout. As I said, Grout is the Malkavian Primogen. His behavior and home are eccentric, to say the least. He's developed a paranoid bent lately. So you may have to check under every bed in the place for him. Hmm. I wonder something first. I suppose I can spare a few seconds. Questions of faces? Yes. yes. Who are you? It's common knowledge. I was born in Calais, France, over 200 years ago. When I graduated from the Royal Military Academy, I joined Napoleon's army. It was shortly after Waterloo when I was embraced by a Belgian noble. From that time onward, I counted some of the greatest kindred in Europe as my mentors and worked towards establishing a Camarilla presence in new territories. In 1930, I came to the Americas and staked power in New York. Soon after, I headed west to claim domain. My mind wonders something else. Which is... The blackest of hands, the Sabbat. Every night you wake up, be thankful you were not sired by one of their kind. Or you would have woken under the ground, forced to claw your way up from the dirt into a brief, bloody, violent existence. Savages. Bloodthirsty, irresponsible heathens. Hmm. Something Which else. Is... This banner we fly over our blood. In this age of information, videotape, and weapons of mass destruction, the Camarilla is more necessary than it has ever been. The alternative to thorough secrecy these days is extinction. As long as we exist, so shall kingdom society. 
Para a yes. The Lone Wolf. You've met Beckett? Yes. He did pay me the courtesy of announcing his presence in my city. He's lionized in kindred society, by most. Beckett's the definition of renowned scholar, but he's also a lone wolf, and owes allegiance only to his intellectual pursuits. A gentleman and a scholar. Yes. About someone else. The one who is smiling. Jack. Hmm. The man is a scourge, the physical manifestation of chaos. Yeah, he is. Whenever he makes an appearance in one city, it is only a matter of time before a calamity is attributed to his latest lock. I mean, what are you going to do? He's a bruja that's a couple hundred years old. He's got celerity and potency. I don't remember the other one. Not to mention he's smart. Not yes. Just... Grout was one. Who were the others? They are the representatives of their clans, though more often than not, they represent their own best interests. They stay close to power, but are too fearful of the consequences to wield it. Nonetheless, I seek their counsel on occasion. I take my questions back. I will see Grout instead. When we hear from Grout, you may come back. Until then. I'll be back. I'll be back. <laughs> Could not help myself. Let me see. So what do we got to do about here? Go see Alistair Grout. My grandfather, as it were. Ooh, I can do the plague bearers. I think I saw that symbol on the street around the corner. Can't do that until I get to uh, Hollywood, I think. And that's tied with the mud, blood, mud, mud hunt, not mud blood. I didn't say that. It's a horrible thing to say. And look at this face. Does he look horrible? I've got a PhD in horribleness. No, that's a lie. I dropped out of college. It just was not adding up. Hey, pretty lady. <laughs> Topped off. I could say something about her tasting, but that would just be in poor taste. But I'm ch hmm. This looks oddly familiar. I am in my Thinking about the picking What's up my share brother? of the club. You enlighten? Hallelujah, brother. I see the light. I see. Welcome to the Brotherhood. The bishop will see you upstairs. You will see me and die. Because that's what you say upon it, but right before you enter the dungeon. Oh yeah, I know the boss. I'm gonna kill him. Okay, come on in. Did you get summoned? You're going uh, upstairs to see the bishop. Your words are twisting my skull, Taffy. You're new to the Brotherhood, huh? Just got enlightened. I, I've been here a few days. <laughs> when the bishop wants to see you, you'll be summoned. And then you go up these, um, these stairs. 
up to the, the temple. What's up this disease written demagogue? The, the, the bishop? Yeah, I, I saw him once. He is beautiful and scary. I, uh, I dream about him all the time. He does uh, things to me in my dreams. He does uh, things I, I don't like to remember. What of this Torah temple? I, I don't know. I mean, I, I hear things, but, but I haven't been summoned. I had a friend snuck up there a few days ago. She said she saw things. Bad, bad things. Yeah. What vile visions? Blood. She said, um, b -b blood everywhere. Have you she been to this town? Saw a few of the summoned to try to, uh, oh, to talk to them, but they just, just stared at her with these, um, these woo blank looks, you know? No, one of them, uh, started reaching for her and she, she ran away. Wear your fear like a shadowy veil. Yeah, yeah. I know. The b -b bishop said we have to shed our um, our uh, our earthly fears on our journey to the to the ninth circle. But of hell. I'm, I'm scared to go upstairs. I I just uh, I just I just want to go home. You know, I want to go home. Hmm. Shed your fear. Death has come for the bishop and his brotherhood. I think there's a way you can uh, drink from her, but that was one of the other dialogue options. Anyways, let's go to the temple. I'm already dead and batshit insane on top. Oh, that's dark. Let me see. Ah! Now it's not dark. Motherfucking zombies. Oh, I know what to do here. Undead slaying ninja. You can use guns too, but they're just, they're not nearly as effective. Good grief! And guns usually don't do that when you hit them upside the head. Jin! Not my brains! I only have so many! No brains for you. I need all the ones I got. Suey. Ninja! Hey, come here, Whiskers. I need more house bucks, and you are my key. This thing can't surprise attack me through the wall if I can see him coming. And apparently, if you hit him in the head, they just shatter. Come here, Whiskers. There they go, breaking in half again.
Hey, wait a minute. This looks awfully familiar. Clearly, I'm not paying close enough attention. Oh, got her in the first round. Don't run too far, Whiskers. I need you. Whiskers, get back here. <laughs> Poor little guys, they can't decide if they run a wanna run away from me or towards me. show? The zombie show. I never really watched it that much, but it had Glenn and Rick and that, that, that one psychotic guy. I think he calls the dude a gutless coward and then he cuts them open and he's like, oh, how embarrassing that they are. That was one of the shows I never really watched. I guess we're going in that hole in the ground. The only way I see forward. Several holes in the ground. We should be in the basement, right? I need all six of them for my personality side. Whiskers, don't run. I'll show you the path, Whiskers. You are enlightened. I saw that. The blue shimmer through the wall. Not have these doors open? I could have sworn there was treasure. I mean, it is a dungeon. Dang, 140? I am a ninja. I mean, other than the undead, though, I gotta admit, this looks like a typical apartment building in America. We don't take very good care of our people here. And who are you just beyond the doorway? And next time, we will find out. Because this seems like a quiet moment here, we can use a break. Farewell, Empire.